But if it's a lay about and keeps telling you my future is bright, <laughs> don't listen to me. You do have mommy and daughter fight. Oh. You don't you don't want to know. Don't just see somebody, meet somebody and jump into marriage. Bang. <laughs> Okay, Jojo. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Now, I had to do this voiceover right now because I just wanted to let you guys know, in case you don't know already, I lost the beginning of this video, like the file where we welcomed you guys and answered one or two questions. I lost that file, but um, I hope you guys enjoy watching anyways and we'll be sure to answer those questions again in another video. But right now, Grandma is answering a question by Jojo Williams and that question says, would she have had more kids if she had the option to? So that is what she is answering right about now my own mother had 12 of us yeah, 12 12 <laughs> of us jojo one mother one father in fact 13 because she had twins yeah and then if i had an option yes jojo you would have more kids. I, would, I would have more kids That's i would have had more kids That's how you like having children if i had yes <laughs> i like having babies hmm. now wow okay the next question is from amber Oh, oh Amba. <laughs> yes. Amba. and Amba says, "Have you ever flogged Alma? Please tell us when. If not, why?" <laughs> mm. Amba, dear, you know, flog, flog, flog. I don't think I can remember you flogging me. me. Maybe, maybe during, smacking. Me, yeah, yeah, maybe but not flog, not outright flogging. With a cane, you know, yeah. with a cane, no. Yeah. But maybe smack, you know, because like uh, I told you last time, you know, Alma was a. Uh, a tomboy. Yeah, I would. I, I think I had. I had smacked her on a number of occasions, but not actual flogging with, with a cane. cane. <laughs> the next question is from Nora Obena, and she says, "Mommy, please, we want to know your academic background and career." Okay, Nora. Yes. Okay, Nora. My academic background. I went to Our Lady of Apostles Primary School, mm. Convent School, Asaba, Delta State. Then I went to AGGS, Anglican Kids Grammar School. In Asaba. Asaba, Delta State. Then I went to University of Medugri. I made a 2-1 in English. Oh, yeah. From the University <laughs> of Medugri. She I'm knows Buku. And I graduated in 1986. My career, then I found myself, I was, I was a, working in private, in the companies, then I found myself working for government. I joined the federal government in 2004 yeah and still actively i'm serving. still an active civil um, servant, civil servant. <laughs> i work with naptip the national agency for the prohibition of trafficking in persons this question is from jade a and it says mommy you are too beautiful thank you jade and same as it's Auntie not jade. Alma. is it jade i don't think it's jade or, or jade. jade i'm uh, not anyone. sure anyone okay, okay. okay maybe so, jade maybe jade yeah jade. so she says my question is would you suggest marrying a man who isn't financially stable doesn't have a good job at the moment but has prospects of working harder to make ends meet hmm. that's a tough one yeah that's a, ch a tough one. Let me call it Jade, <laughs> not Jade. Um, if he has prospects of making it, yeah. even if the one he has now is not uh, really a good one, but if you know he has the prospects, you know, yes, I will, I will advise. Okay. I will advise. Yes, go, go for him as long as the prospects are, are there. But if he's just the as long as the prospects are there and as long as he has something doing now. now. But if he's a layabout and keeps telling you my future is bright, <laughs> don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to him because if he's just a layabout and he keeps saying my future, my is, future bright, is bright. My future is bright. My future is bright. For you, you can even see his future. Exactly. That, that there's nothing there. Bright about so, it. There's nothing bright about his future. So. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I concur with that. Yeah. Next one is from Linda Clark, and she says, Grandma, a lot of people ask questions like this, so okay. let's just answer it once and for and all. For all. Grandma, how do you keep looking so young, your skin? So somebody even asked about your skin, your hair, what have you done to your hair throughout this year to keep it looking as healthy as, as it, is, it is, and your skin as well. Okay, um, for my hair, mm. 
the gray, you know, is natural. It's natural. This is natural gray. This here. is natural. <laughs> no tinting, nothing. Yeah. You know, and um, I go to the salon every Sunday. Since I was born, no. I Since I've known her as my mother every, every blessed Sunday, Sunday, my mom was Even if salon. my hair is still like this, yeah. I go to the salon every Sunday. So wash and set. And the product I use, I use um, I use a suave um shampoo and conditioner. Yeah. I normally get it from the US. It's very scary. So if, I, if any of my friends, anybody is traveling to the US, the only thing I ask them for is suave. Shampoo, shampoo and, and conditioner. conditioner. Yeah, that's, that's all I use. that's all I use for my. And hair. then blue magic hair cream. Blue magic hair cream. Since then for I was born. then for retouching I use um what's that my olive kit? oil olive kit. oil kit. Yeah, that's for my hair. But just know that the gray is natural. Yeah, that is how it is. And she's just aging gracefully. Her skin is just God giving you guys. That's just it. She's just aging know? gracefully. I can even pick uh, use the detox to to have my bath mm -hmm. and uh, use a uh, uh, baby oil. Or even Mia's lotion. So many people here are saying no questions, just love for you, Mama. Love. Everybody, love. Lots of people are here saying just love for you, love, no questions. Love. One love. <laughs> My sister will say one love. One love, Mio. Mio. <laughs> okay, this one is from Princess Audu, and it says, "What's one thing that young people should know about the reality of marriage?" One thing, one people, young people should know. Yeah, one thing. About the reality, reality of, of marriage. Yeah. Who asked the question? Princess Audio. Her name is Sarah, by the okay. way. <laughs> Sarah, you see, our young people of these days, they go into marriage without really knowing what they are. All they care about is the wedding. The wedding, yeah. All they care about is the wedding. They don't care about the marriage. Mm -hmm. One thing every young person should know before going into marriage is. As you are going into marriage, you know that it is for better, for worse. Yeah. You are because there. you went in there with your eyes wide open. True. You know. And then um, it is not about marriage is not about the fair of the wedding. Yeah. You know. So know that as you are going into marriage, you know that it is for better and for worse. Mm -hmm. And worse. You know? But except when there is violence involved. That's all. That's all. Yeah. Except when there is domestic violence. violence. When there is domestic violence, we don't preach for better for worse. That's right. When, when there is domestic violence. But as long as there is no domestic violence, it's just uh, the usual uh, up and downs of life and mm -hmm. uh, and marriage. You get just remain there just, and sort just it remain out. there and sort it out. But when domestic violence is involved, we don't. We don't advise you to stay. Yeah, I don't remember who asked this question, but I think somebody sent me a DM with this question, mm. and it says, "What can she say she did right in raising you? That's in raising me. What can you say you did right in, in raising, raising you? me? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Why is she now staring at me? <laughs> what can I say I did right? Yeah, I'm a very firm person. I'm a very firm person, and. Uh, I say it as it is, so. mm -hmm. no matter. No sugar coating. I don't sugar coat <laughs> anything. I say it as it is. Mama, this, 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 and I will say it. The highest she will do is she will carry face. Mm -hmm. She will carry face for a few days, you know, and after that, she will come back, right come back to reality, you know. <laughs> so, what, what, I, what I can say I did right was my firmness. Yeah. My firmness in issues concerning her. And let me just say that I was firm. Yeah. I was firm. firm. I was firm with my mm -hmm. kids. I was, yeah, I was firm with them. What is the thing that you would advise young moms to do for or to their kids to raise them right? So I think that's just answers. What yes, just yes, be now. firm. Don't spoil your kids. Yeah. Don't spoil your kids. You know, just like um, Alma has uh, just one brother, yeah. and um, I, that's I have a, just, I have one son. I don't do that, or oh, I didn't do that. Um, my only son. My only son. My only son. Only son. No, no, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. I didn't do that. I did that. So, I will advise young mothers be fair with your kids. And that's in raising them, yeah. be fair. You ha you, 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 I, I'm not saying that uh, you shouldn't love your kids or you shouldn't, but um, let me say, when you spare the rod, 
it was Paul the child. That's, right. That's all I'm saying. This question is from Mary to Victory and it says considering the recent happenings in the world as regards to abusive nannies house helps and so on mm. will you advise a woman that has young or little children to do a nine to five job which will obviously take her out of the house eight to nine hours every day well you you did it i did it i've uh, you did it. I've, uh, I've been working all my life yeah i've been working all my life the only thing is uh, the thing is you pray for you pray for a good person that's it and the number one thing every mother every mother every mother should be a praying mother very very important every mother should be a praying mother because if you are a praying person and a bad nanny enters your house your house becomes too much she's the one that will leave mm -hmm. you know so yes i i will advise you know because i don't see how you can uh, Go to the university you come out you know and you don't have anything doing. doing yeah then but the only thing you have is maybe it's probably a nine to five job you can get the, you can get the five to nine to five job then pray for a good nanny because i did it if you know how many nannies mm. I, I had growing up you guys i told i gave you the story time i gave you the story time you know? <laughs> so yes first and foremost you have to be prayerful yeah that is the key just be prayerful, just pray for and again, don't believe in in uh, agents getting you nannies. nannies yeah. No. I don't believe I don't there must be a way for you to get somebody. From somebody that you for, know, you know personally. And you, you know and you trust. Yeah. You know, there so must so. be there must be a way. I don't believe in uh, agency. Agents. No, I don't believe in that. Mm. Okay, this question is from Larissa and it says hi grandma mia hi larissa would you advise courtship before marriage would you advise sex in a committed relationship p.s i love your red lipstick yes. <laughs> of course courtship oh yes yeah it's important you have it's to it's very very important ah. you have to court you have to learn each other mm -hmm. you have to learn each other you don't just jump into you don't just see somebody meet somebody and jump into marriage <laughs> you have to court and then would I advise sex? Sex in a committed relationship. You know. <laughs> Amen. I want to hear her answer to this question. <laughs> in a committed relationship. Mm. Mm. You don't know how to answer it. You are not is for it, or it, against. Is it, is it Larissa? Yes. Larissa. <laughs> I don't need to. You know, I'm a Christian mother. Mm. You know, I'm a Christian mother, so I. I don't really know how to answer that, but all I can say is that yes, you must cut. Yeah. Cut for at least two, three years mm. before married. Then by cutting, you grow to know each other. Yeah. 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 X. I can't pronounce this name. Xernib. It starts with an X. I can't pronounce it. I'm what sorry. What kind of X? Is it? X E R Y N B. I'm sure it's just an acronym. But it says gorgeous mommy. Hi. <laughs> Was there any challenges you faced growing up as a woman back then? challenges yeah growing up as a woman like i said earlier my mom had 12 of us and i'm number 10 even though we're 11 surviving now mm -hmm. i'm number 10 growing up as a young woman i can't really recall i can't really recall any actual challenges i cannot really recall you know my parents were both educated mm -hmm. and uh, i know that i was taught what to see in life as i was growing up you know as i was growing up and then the first time i left my parents the first time i left was when i went to the university yeah. you can imagine going all the way to the far north, north from asaba all the way from asaba to show you the kind of parents i had when I got my admission to the university, my mother took me. So just school. like I took your sister. Yeah. Just like uni. I took your sister yeah. to uni. My mom took me. You know, so as a young woman growing up, I cannot really recall. I can't really recall the challenges. This question is from NG Space and she says, Do you have mommy and daughter fights? And how do you trash it if it happens? <laughs> Yes, sir. we do. <laughs> oh yes, we do have mommy and daughter fight. Oh. You don't want, you don't want to know. We do have mommy and daughter fight. We do have mommy and daughter oh fight. My God. Ah, she knows now. The last one, the last one. When she was 
raving on the phone to her sister. <laughs> she didn't know that I was there that I put it on speaker. Oh my them. god. Oh yes. We I, well, we, but at the end of the day, I just came around. At, at the end of the day, I allow her to just you cool know down. cool down, and I will say, Mama, I will always be your mother. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I came into this world before you. <laughs> So, so I will always know more than you. I will always know more than oh you. Oh my god. So when I talk, just listen. listen. <laughs> I will always know more than you. You can never know more than me. That's that is right. not possible. Not possible. Oh yes, we do. We do have our five of them. <laughs> you know, and at the end of the day, no love lost. We we'll shake hands. Yeah, we'll and we we'll hug. <laughs> okay, the next question is from college grad and she says, Mommy, what's what do you enjoy about being a grandma? Mm. What advice did you give Alma during her pregnancy? Mm. <laughs> what I enjoy being a grandma. Mm. If you see me prattling all over the place, <laughs> I enjoy prattling all over, scattering the sitting room. And grandpa is busy saying, no, stop it, leave it there. No, but she's you, busy. You love it. I love it. I love she scatters. She calls, grandma, grandma, grandma all over the place. I just love seeing her. Mm. I just love seeing her enter from one room to the other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all over the scattering the, the center table and I, I love. That's what I love. What advice did you give me while I was pregnant? What advice? Like what to expect? Yeah. Mm. Did you really give me advice? You just let me just go through the experience. Like you know, you know you uh, <laughs> You daughters of nowadays, everything is there for you on social media. Yeah. You just, I just allowed that to go through, but um, I didn't want to frighten you. Yeah. I didn't want to tell you the story of labor. Mm -hmm. I I, you always you, dodged it. You yes, never I wanted to tell because me. Because I wanted yeah. you to experience it. Because I didn't want you to start having palpitations. Yeah. About the. Uh, and panic attacks. Uh, that's right. So mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't tell you anything about labor because I wanted you to. Go through it. To go through it. <laughs> the next one is from Adeze Beauty. The last question I'll be taking for today is from Adeze Beauty and it says, Hello Grandma Mia. Hello Adeze. You are so beautiful Thank and you. I love your hair. Thank you, Adeze. <laughs> Thank you. My question, what advice would you give couples or someone about to be married? You've been married for a long time so I can trust your advice. Love you and thank you for bringing beautiful Alma into this world. Thank you, Adeze. <laughs> what advice? I give to couples. couples and somebody who wants to get married like you've already given marriage advice in the beginning uh, but yeah for couples I'm um, for young couples mm -hmm. I always advise young couples you know now and like now especially Alma I've been married to her dad for 31 years yeah 31 31 years mm -hmm. and I keep telling her Alma your own will be longer than that too. amen no <laughs> yours will be young, longer than that amen so let them be communication in marriage. Very important. It is very, very important. Don't keep secrets from each other. You know we have men who keep secrets from their wives. Who don't, they don't tell their wives their plans. Mm -hmm. You know. So it is the way you start. Yeah. You know from you know. Yeah, I think that's very important. The, it's the way you start the your way marriage. You start your marriage. Yeah. Please let them be communication. Let them be communication. Seek each other's advice. Yeah? My dear, what do you think about this? My dear, what do you think about Seek each other's advice. The most important thing in marriage is communication. Tell each other things. Open up to each other. Raise your children together. Yeah. Contribute to the welfare of the family together. Yeah. Let the body not be on one person. On one person, yeah. Because uh, um, in marriage, they said that the husband is the head. But then the wife is the, the neck. neck. That supports the head. That's right. Because without the neck, the head cannot stand. Mm -hmm. So that is my advice at this. Oh, thanks, Grandma. Okay, guys, so we have come to the end of this video. There are still some questions that we couldn't answer because of time, but maybe we'll do a part two. Will you be willing to do a part two with me in the future? I might, I might have to start paying me on honorarium. <laughs> <laughs> you have to start paying me on honorarium. Ah. But there will be a part two soon, you guys. Maybe not anytime like this week or next week, but there will be a part two, okay? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching, be sure as always to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. Leave a comment down below as always. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye! Bye. <laughs>